Hey folks, Chad here with Exodus Trail Cameras. Today we want to talk a little bit about light metering systems and IR filters on your trail cameras. And some of you may not even know what those uh, couple pieces of hardware are, but maybe at some point you've had black photos all through the night. Or maybe you've had your daytime photos or videos come out completely pink. And maybe if it hasn't happened to you, you know of someone, your buddy, or you've read about it on a Facebook group or forum or anything uh, on the internet. And, you know, it's, it's kind of funny that these things have been around for 20 plus years. And when people are getting black nighttime images where there is, it looks like there's no flash. People still think that the flash unit is bad or something, um, something else is causing those nighttime photos to come out like that. And, the last thing that people think about is actually how these cameras operate and how um, the light is actually captured by the camera when it's taking when it's actually taking a video or taking a photo. So, I think we've all probably familiar um, with the shutter of a camera and how a camera actually operates. But when you're looking at the type of light or flash unit that is used on the majority of these products, specifically these black flash cameras. The, the light, the, the wavelength of light that is emitted by that flash unit is 940 nanometers. So if you were to look at that UV spectrum, it's really, really, really far on the right side above infrared um, wavelengths and much beyond what the human eye can even see. And that's, that's how they got their trade name, I guess, invisible flash, black flash, no glow, whatever you want to call them. That's a 940 nanometer um, wavelength of flash that the camera's uh, putting out. But to capture that light, the camera, uh, if it's a single lens camera, the camera has a mechanical device called an infrared filter, an IR filter. And that filter drops and opens depending on the available light in the environment for the camera to take a photo. So the camera knows how much light is available by its light metering system. There's a little piece of hardware that actually read the available light in the environment and tell the camera, hey, there's enough light to take a, uh, a daytime photo. I don't need a flash. I'm going to take a, just a regular photo where it tells it, hey, you know, it's dusk. There's enough light to take a photo, um, but there's, there's enough light to take a photo, but it's getting low. And typically these are going to be your transition periods where you have like those grayscale uh, photos, usually in the morning and usually in the evening. Um, that's what we call transition photos. And then you have the period where, it is nighttime or dark and there's not enough light to capture a photo and that's the light metering system is going to tell the camera hey we need an artificial flash let's go ahead and make that happen so we capture a black and white image so for that light to be captured by the lens again that mechanical device the ir filter is going to drop that's powered or ran by um, that um, the light metering system so when that filter drops there's a little piece of film that drops over top of that lens that is allowing that lens to capture that specific um, light frequency to take that photo. So, you know, I think that we've all probably um, held a camera and waved our hand in front of it, maybe heard a tick and, or you heard somebody talk about on Facebook, hey, these cameras make noise. Every time it takes a picture, I can hear the shutter. That's a, that's a big misconception. It's a, it's a false, it's a false theory. Maybe back in the early days when these things were first being made, you could hear that shutter. Um, or if you're making homebrew cameras, maybe you can hear the shutter. But in most, most major players today, the, you, there's no noise from the shutter. The only audible noise that is coming from any single lens trail camera, newer camera on the market from a, from a major player. We're not, you know, there might be some mom and pops out there, um, smaller trail camera companies that maybe have some different issues going on. But most major manufacturers that are using a single lens setup, um, the only audible noise that you're going to hear from that camera is when that IR filter first drops and then opens. And that should only happen twice, uh, typically twice a day. Now, there are some different setups uh, where lighting is a little bit tough or that might happen a, a few times. But once that filter drops, it's going to stay down until that light metering system is saying, okay, it's daytime now. There's enough light to take a photo. I don't need that filter or the flash to go off. Um, go, let's go ahead and lift that filter up and take a, take a regular daytime color photo. So the whole point of explaining this um, 
that IR filter and light metering operation is to help educate uh, everyone out there. It's, it's really frustrating for us sometimes when we get on um, some of these Facebook groups, um, some of these forums, and guys have, are, you know, they're, they're on a pro staff and they're trying to market someone else's camera. Um, and they don't even understand how these things work. If someone says, hey, I'm getting, I'm getting black nighttime images, the first thing they want to say is, oh, the flash is bad. Folks, most of these products are using LED bulbs. Just like uh, the LEDs um, that kind of came a long ways in what we use in our house versus incandescent, these bulbs last so much longer. It is very, very, very unlikely. Um, it does happen, but it's very unlikely that the flash unit is actually bad uh, in that camera that's producing your black nighttime images. Typically, it's going to come from a faulty PIR or a faulty IR filter that is not dropping and not opening correctly. And again, that's the same way if you're getting pink daytime photos. If you're getting a pink or purple hue to your daytime photos, it's because that filter is stuck. Um, <clears throat> it's stuck closed. Now, if, if you run into that problem and talk to different manufacturers, everyone has their own fix for it. They're going to tell you to, to slap the thing really hard or bounce it off a tree and try to get that filter to get unstuck. Um, some might say take it to a dark room or manipulate this light metering system, hold your finger over it and then flashlight to it to try to jar that uh, IR filter loose. That's not what we do here. If that filter is sticking, there's, there's a reason why. If there's a reason why that mechanical device is actually failing and needs to be corrected. Banging it with your hand or off a tree or flashing it from a, um, a dark environment to a light environment is not a suitable way to fix an issue like that. It may fix it temporarily, but it's probably going to happen again uh, at some point down the road. So... Again, IR filter, it's just a mechanical device that opens and closes um, over top of your lens that allows you to capture those black and white nighttime images. It captures the light from that flash unit. If it's not working correctly, your photos could be one of two things. They could be all black at night or all pink, purple hue during the day. Typically, you're not going to have both. Uh, if you have both, you're really, uh, you're really down the creek with, uh, without a paddle. Um, but typically that when that filter, if the filter fails or when it fails, if it does fail, it's going to fail open or fail shut. Um, so you'll likely experience one of the, one of two, um, of those issues. If you run into that with us, all you gotta do is, uh, send us an email, explain the problem, attach a couple photos for reference. And, uh, we, that's a pretty easy fix. We disassemble those cameras, stick new IR filter assemblies over top of that lens and get that thing back up and running pretty easy. Um, there's only a couple camera companies that do that. So uh, we hope that makes sense. If you run into that problem, black photos, pink photos, it's probably because of your PIR or your, because of your IR filter. Um, and an easy way to troubleshoot that is just take it with new set of batteries, new batteries, new SD card, take it into a dark room, like your bathroom, shut all the lights off and take some photos. If they come out black, um, it's typically what's that, what that is. And an easy way, also another easy way to troubleshoot that is to manipulate the light metering system. So you could take your camera, new batteries, again, new batteries, and take it into an environment where it, um, you can manipulate the light a little bit. So maybe in your house with no lights on during the day, you have a little bit of ambient light, and take that camera, hold your finger over that light metering system, and then point the camera in a dark area, and you should be able to hear that filter drop if your ear is close enough to it, and then take it into a... Um, uh, a lighted area, take your finger off that light metering system and you should be able to hear that filter open. And again, that doesn't happen every time the camera takes a photo, or at least it shouldn't on a well-designed product. It's only going to happen um, at dawn and dusk twice a day. Um, so that, again, that's that noise is not your shutter. Um, the shutters on these cameras don't make any noise. So if you're thinking that, um, hopefully this, this video taught you something. And if you're having problems with black photos or pink photos, it's because you're more than likely your IR filter, not your flash unit. So if you guys, uh, if you guys find some value in this, in this, in this video, drop a comment below. If you'd like to see anything specific uh, on our cameras, on any cameras, any topics, leave that in the comments. Smash that subscribe button for us. Have a great 2020.